after we go really inside the, the car. We start from the engine. Engine is uh, one of the most important issue for uh, Lamborghini. And uh, uh, also in the Huracan, we, we remain in what for us is a DNA of the super sport car. It's a naturally aspirated with 10 cylinder, 5.2 liter. But in this car, we made a really big activity, big job in order to improve, first of all, performance. Performance means to achieve the 610 horsepower, but at the same time also to have a reduction of the CO2 of 11%. And what is really more and more important, to be able to fulfill the new rule in terms of emission, like Euro 6 and LEV 2. And to do this, you will see later, we have introduced a completely new that is a two different system of injection. We have direct injection and MPI injection. In this way, we are able to fulfill all the rule in terms of homologation, but also to improve, and we'll see in a second, the performance of the engine. The other important issue that you will experience today is a sound of the car that is really, that we can say is a state of the art, is really able to give emotion to everybody in a way that is fantastic. Come back to what I described before. Due to a completely new intake system and cylinder head, uh, we were able to achieve a big improvement in the torque of the engine and consequently also in the power. But what is really more and more important we were able to increase, uh, to give more and more effort to the naturally aspirated engine, increasing what we call the TP. Means when you accelerate uh, in a fast way, the pedal of the accelerator is the reaction of the engine. And if you see in this diagram, you can see the difference between the reaction of the Gallardo engine compared to the Huracan. Means that when you accelerate, the engine is able really to catch high speed in a time that is really shorter compared also to the uh, previous Gallardo. To the engine, for the first time in Lamborghini, we couple the new, uh, new uh, double clutch gearbox that we call Lamborghini Doppia Frizione. For the first time, we introduced this system in our car, and this is uh, again for uh, this uh, instinctive technology. Every customer can have the feeling to drive the car in the more extreme way, but also in the more comfortable way. And due to this uh, system, we achieve uh, the best performance for this kind of car. Another important feature is related to the four-wheel drive system. This is part of the DNA of Lamborghini, new our super sport car. We think that the four-wheel drive system is a mandatory. And for the first time here in the Huracan, we introduced, compared to the old Gallardo, a electro-hydraulic uh, central differential that is able to transfer till 50% of the torque in the front and arrive to 100% in the rear. Means uh, the possibility to handle the torque is really much more compared to every other car. And uh, in this case, moving from the old disco drive that we have in the Gallardo to this uh, uh, electro hydraulic solution, we have the possibility not to be passive, but to be active in the torque distribution between the two axes. Here you can have a look at uh, what happened. We have a static uh, uh, torque distribution of 30-70% and like you can see here we are able to move 50-50 or 0-100 depending from the condition of the street but also from the, uh, let me say, setup that we want to release based on the different system that we have. The other, uh, we go to the front of the car, we go to the steering. It's one of the most important uh, parts of the car. Uh, and we have uh, in the, let me see, the standard car, we have electromechanical power steering that uh, interacts with the anima, like I mentioned before, but, uh, and will be on the car that you will test it today, we have for the first time in the super sport car introduced something that is really unique, that is uh, what we call Lamborghini dynamic steering. Means uh, is a system that uh, allows the base of the selection and based on the speed to have a continuously change of the ratio between steering and wheel. And like you see in this diagram, you can imagine, uh, you have a possibility, depending from the different condition, to have a ratio that is more or less, can go from 9.1 to 1 till 17.1 to 1. Means uh, you have more or less 100% uh, of the change of the ratio between steering and the wheel on the street. About suspension, also in this case, all the car that you will test today 
have a new magnet magnetological dampers and also in this case uh, this is a perfect matching between uh, a car that you can use in the handling track uh, in an extreme way but also to be comfortable in every kind of road in downtown or bad road uh, in every condition and this is something that uh, increases the confidence that you can have with a car like this. After we arrive to the famous Anima, Anima at the end is a button that, like I mentioned before, is able to select the best configuration of the car, but in order to be able to do, to do this, uh, what uh, was necessary was uh, to have a system that allowed you to have a precise information and uh, in a time that is close to zero. For this, uh, we introduce in a uh, Lamborghini Huracan, for the first time in a super sport car, a system that came from aeronautics is uh, what we call Lamborghini Piattaforma Inerziale. It's a completely new system that we use uh, to monitoring all the movement of the car in terms of suspension, in terms of steering, in terms of uh, <coughs> engine, gearbox, uh, ASP, using a system that is positioning in the center of gravity of the car and is, uh, if I want to simplify, is built from three accelerometer that check uh, the, mo the movement in the three axis, but for every axis, we have also a gyroscope that allows to have all the information of the movement of the suspension, pitching, rolling, uh, change of the angle, in a real time without any kind of calculation, and put all this data in a CAN bus uh, and uh, allow, allowing the car to react uh, in the best way as possible for dynamic performance. Another important uh, topic of this car is uh, all what we present now must uh, have one uh, important task, must uh, be applicable in a stiff uh, and robust chassis. In order to do this, uh, we receive uh, our internal target was to increase 50% the stiffness. 50% of increase of stiffness means to have more of 30,000 newton meter per degree of uh, torsional stiffness, but without to increase the weight. And uh, when we did this analysis, uh, we start from a, a concept that we know very well, that is uh, the uh, aluminum space frame, space frame of the uh, Gallardo, and we detect that it was not possible to achieve this uh, target together. For this reason, we started to work uh, looking where it was necessary to put improvement, and uh, where we detected this area, we tried to use a different material in order to achieve the target. At the end, the result was uh, this kind of uh, integration of hybrid technology for the chassis where we integrate carbon fiber and aluminum, achieving uh, the target of the stiffness, means 50% more of the previous Gallardo, and uh, at the end also a weight reduction of 10% uh, of the body weight uh, of the worker. Aerodynamic is another important task because with aerodynamics uh, we influence in the two sides uh, functionality and design. We did a big job in order to optimize everything, trying to achieve a ambitious target of drag force reduction of 3% and increasing the downforce, the global downforce of the car of 50%. And this means in total to have a, a car efficiency, means the ratio between drag and down of 8%, but also to rebalance in a better way the downforce between front and rear. This was possible without any kind of uh, movable spoiler or movable parts of the car, working hard on the underfloor of the car and cleaning every shape, every line in order to have a perfect functionality of the car and give uh, this uh, in a up and down with the uh, design people. At the end, what we achieve with all this issue? Here you see this is a track of Nardo, is our house where we perform something a little bit less of uh, one million of kilometer in order to develop the hurricane and to release what you will test later, but also to achieve outstanding performance like uh, 0, 0,602 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds and uh, 0, 0,124 miles in 9.9 .9 seconds. We are able to achieve a top speed that is superior to 202 miles per hour, 325 kilometers per hour, and we have a braking space that is from 62 miles to zero in 31.9 uh, meters. This is a 1.1 meter 
better of Gallardo, and I think everybody of you know what means to achieve one meter more in terms of breaking space on 100 meters. It's a difference between crash and not crash. <laughs> yes. Uh, at the end, also in terms of uh, weight to power to weight ratio, with the new Huracan, we achieved 2.33 kilogram per horsepower. And uh, what is important, this car on the Nardot track uh, uh, is faster. Of more, is more faster of two seconds compared to the best Gaillard, that means the squadra Corsa in the same condition. Means uh, is outstanding performance in terms of handling, in terms of maximum speed, in terms of braking and reaction time. And this is uh, the car that uh, you will test it today. <laughs>